Hi, I'd like to welcome you out to another one of Custom Digital Design's Helpful Hints videos. And today we're going to be looking at a uh, Coastal Gun Inc. Uh, Extreme Duty Suppressor. It's a 5.56 millimeter suppressor and this one has the, um, uh, the flash hider mount attachment which is pretty neat because it goes on any rifle that has a standard A2 flash hider and it attaches without tools and without having a special flash hider. So you just slide it up, slide it off. Pretty easy. In order to take this apart, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the back end here where the flash hider goes in. The overall suppressor is just a hair over eight and a half inches long but because it fits over the, the uh, flash hider you're actually only adding about six and a half inches to the overall length of the weapon when it's installed. Now to keep this from flopping around while we're disassembling, I'm just going to tighten that back up. Now in order to take, take the suppressor apart, you will need an adjustable spanner, uh, which we uh, will soon have available uh, for sale on the website. But uh, this goes into these two holes, and then you're able to unscrew it. Once you start it, you can go ahead and take it off by hand. Now, if this suppressor had been on here for a while and had been fired quite a bit, you'd probably want to soak it overnight in WD-40 or Croil or some other penetrating type um, lubricant in order to loosen the powder fouling and make it easier to get, get it to come apart. This uh, unit is, is nice and new, so uh, it's going to be fairly simple to take care of. So after removing the end cap, we start taking the baffles out. Now you notice that the wide end of the baffle goes to the exit end of the suppressor and the short end goes towards the muzzle of the weapon. We're going to just take these out. And these are nice and new and oiled so they're coming out very easily. And the last thing that comes out is the spacer. Notice we've got everything out. We have the five baffles and the spacer. Now, if you were going to do a thorough cleaning on this, you would also uh, try to go, go ahead and unscrew the, uh, the fast attach unit here, but uh, since we aren't going to do that right now in the interest of time, uh, we'll just go ahead and assume we've done that and we've, we've now got everything cleaned and we're going to reassemble. Now, one of the first things to uh, notice is that you'll notice there's a step inside the spacer. That step, the narrow portion, needs to go towards the muzzle of the weapon. Okay? If it doesn't, you're going to find out if you put, put it in and you end up and you've got the last baffle kind of sitting right here and no way to put on the, the threaded end cap, you've put in the spacer backwards. So we drop in that and now we're going to go ahead and put these in. Now also notice that we have the slots which are cut into the suppressor baffles. Uh, these should not be lined up. They should be aligned basically somewhat randomly uh, because that increases the amount of turbulence that's within the suppressor and therefore uh, thereby increasing the effectiveness of the suppressor uh, and its sound suppression. So just start out with these in any random order. I'm putting this right now towards the top. And put that one in. If you need to, you can use a wooden dowel to put, push them in or out. Uh, I recommend you only use wood. Don't use anything that's metal um, that could end up scoring or marring either the interior tube or the baffles. Let me just keep randomly rotating the position of the cutout slot and we get back to the beginning. And you can see that it's in there and you've got enough room. If you had reversed the uh, spacer, it would be sticking out. You'd probably have this almost flush. And now we just thread the end cap back on. As far as you can. Take the spanner and insert it down in those holes tightly and Tighten it up, and you wiggle those out, and then 
We're going to put this back on. You unscrew the fest attach. Slide it on over the muzzle. Drop this down in the slot. Hand tight, and you're good to go.